So here's a quick video on high pressure filter for the 2005 Ford Freestyle CVT transmission all wheel drive. Um, so the part number is FT178 from Ford. I wouldn't use anything else but the Ford product. Um, it's not worth wasting time buying anything aftermarket for these cars. Just get directly from Ford. They have a patent on all their parts and everything that they make, which uh, the used market can't really copy. So uh, quite easy once you get the holes off. It's a T27, I believe, for... Yeah, T27 Torx. There's uh, three of them. So very easy, one, two, three. Uh, that gets replaced. Uh, this is the OEM one, still has the steel on the ends. That's how you can tell that they're still OEM. Ford doesn't really recommend changing these things, but I would definitely recommend changing these things. Why not? It's a filter. They don't last forever. Neither does the transmissions. Maybe that's one of the reasons why they don't. So uh, yeah, pull this thing out, garbage. Uh, it comes with all the O-rings, so you don't have to worry about it. And even this little plastic piece here gets replaced. You can't uh, you can't reuse any of this stuff. So it comes in the kit. So you can see it right there. If the camera focuses, there you go. So and uh, quickly bolt it back up. Make sure that you have something to catch the oil. And uh, yeah, like I say, it's easy to do it now versus in the car. In the car you have to remove you have to remove this little guy which is in the way. You'll have to support it underneath of the pan and then you can do it in the vehicle but as you can see there's a little bit less space to get to it. This plastic is in the way which you'll have to remove so it's a lot easier doing it while the transmission is out. Uh, next video we shall do uh, the case filter. Once the transmission's in place, I'll uh, drop the case or the oil pan. You need a new gasket for it. Change out the filter, put everything back in. And then we'll go off to the next step. Uh, once the transmission's in place, refilling the transmission, starting the car, and uh, hopefully driving away with no issues.